Hello, my lovely Leos. This is Des, and it is fantastic to be back with you. I hope everything is good in your world. Leo, in meditation, I saw a woman at a horse race, and she was all dressed up. She was looking great, but she was thinking to herself, you know what, I never win. I never win. I'm not even going to bother betting. I'm just going to sit and enjoy it. Anyway, excitement mounted, wine was flowing, she was really enjoying herself, and a friend of her said, oh, I'm just gonna go and bet, I'm really, really excited, I'm pretty sure my horse is gonna win. And she said, come with me, come with me. And so this woman was dragged to this queue, and her friend placed a bet. And this woman was looking at the odds and she was thinking, oh, to hell with it. I may as well put the money that I've got on an outsider. Why the hell not? I never win anyway, but I want to enjoy the day. I want to participate in the fun. I'm not going to be all mean and say, no, it's a waste of money. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to enjoy myself. So she bet the money that she had on this horse that I'm hearing was 40 to 1. And she was thinking, yeah, there's no way this horse is going to win. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. Why not? So she left and she headed off back to her group of friends. They were all socialising, chatting, catching up. And then the race actually started. And she wasn't at the front line of the horse race because she thought, what's the point? <laughs> what's the point? But instead, her eye caught a TV monitor. And she was looking really closely at this outsider the race was close to finishing and there was just a couple of minutes to go. And then out of nowhere, she saw this little horse suddenly put on a burst of speed and raced from the back of this line of horses right to the front. And this horse was neck and neck with another horse. And there was a load of excitement, everyone was cheering. And then there was this huge commotion and this outsider had just pipped this other horse to the post, the outsider had won. And she stood there and she couldn't believe it. And her friend ran up to her and said, oh my God, your horse won. The outsider won. And she said, I know, totally unexpected. And she ended up going to the betting office. Not many people were there. And she collected quite a lot of money. So I don't know, Leo, are you going to bet it all on an outsider? <laughs> Are you going to be meeting someone thinking, well, uh, they're not the sort of person that I would normally date. They're not really my type, but there's something about this person that I feel really drawn to. Leo, this could be your person. Could be your person. Who knows? So guys, without further ado, let's delve in. Let's see what is going to happen. Leo, are you feeling as if you want to take a bit of a risk? You could. <laughs> All right, now the deck that I'm using is called The Signs of Sun by Soleil de Universe. I bought this on Etsy. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful deck. I've really enjoyed reading. I've really enjoyed using it. Okay, so Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, for my lovely Leos? This is October. 2023, October 2023. I'm hearing again, out of nowhere, this horse came sort of out of nowhere and crossed the finish line. Leo, this is someone that may move quickly towards you rather unexpectedly. You may think, oh, I don't know. Gosh, they're not usually the sort of person I would date. Maybe they're 10 years younger, 10 years older. But you're going to decide to just take a chance, Leo. You're going to take a chance. Thank you, Michael. Hmm. All right. Here we go, guys. The moon, Cancerian energy. Leo, you may not be very open with this person when you meet them. You could be sitting in a bit of fear. Ooh, cars are flying. King of Cups, wow. So with the moon and the King of Cups, could be a Pisces or a Cancerian. This is someone who may be a little bit shy in expressing their feelings. But this is someone extremely romantic. 
Leo. They're quite romantic. In the past, the Hierophant, you may have connected with a Taurus in the past, or you may have got yourself wrapped up in a situation with somebody who was married and felt disappointed. Wheel of Fortune. Whatever happened in the past, the divine shifted you onto a brand new cycle. Enough of wallowing in the past, Leo. We want you to move on. We want you to forget about the past. Take it as a lesson. Look to the future. And I think you did. Six of Wands. What you're thinking about is this could be successful, but this person may be wearing a little bit of a false mask. You may intuitively feel, Leo, that this is someone a little bit shy, a bit insecure on the inside, but they put on a brave face. They come forward to you looking pretty confident, but you may know that underneath Leo they're not. This person could be a bit of a mystery. The star in the immediate future, Leo. Now you could be a star in your own right. You could have a lot of clients if you're running a business. You could be doing well in the job that you do, your career. Or you could be sat in a beautiful, calm, serene energy. Almost the energy that is perfect for you to consider taking a risk. Well, I'm not stressed out. I've cleared baggage from the past. I've healed. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. So why not, right? Aquarian energy. In your fears, fearing, Leo, that the distance may be the problem. This could be somebody who lives at a distance from you. Or with the Three of Wands, Leo, you may be fearing getting rather enamoured with this person and getting all up in your head. Fearing, sort of standing there waiting for every message, every phone call, every text. When I feel you don't want to be sat in that energy, you may be fearing this person isn't going to put in the effort. But it's just a fear. And as I always say, fear is not a real emotion. In this person's energy, three of cups. So Leo, you could meet this person out and about. It could be a celebration, a festival, a party, an event. Wine is going to be flowing, Leo. You could be there wearing something really nice. Keen to meet new people. I'm getting quite a social energy from you, which is really lovely. This is someone who is going to be sitting in a lot of optimistic, enthusiastic energy. But I feel that you may meet this person and think, I believe that underneath the facade, you're actually a little bit shy, even a bit insecure. I don't know why I'm getting that. In your hopes, three of coins. Hoping to have the courage to give this person a chance to develop a relationship with them. Develop a foundation maybe of a friendship that could lead to dating, that sort of situation. Nice. The outcome. Ooh. Leo, you're going to not want to let this person go. Very quietly, you're going to be really hoping that this works out. But I feel that you're going to keep that to yourself. So clarification for you, Leo. Death card. Okay. You closed out a cycle, I feel, of dealing with people that you couldn't trust. I don't know why I'm getting that. Yeah, wow, Seven of Swords. So you are closing out a cycle of dealing with people sat in the Seven of Swords energy. People you can't trust, people that are manipulative. You're not going there again, Leo. You've had enough, right? You're looking for somebody reliable, trustworthy, honest. Yeah. So this person's energy, Five of Coins. They've been left out in the cold before by other people. You may be right, Leo, if you believe this is somebody who's a little bit insecure on the inside. Okay. Yeah, they're single with the nine of coins, but this is someone who's also struggled meeting the right person. Now, Leo, they could be seeing you sat in the nine of pentacles and they may feel they haven't got a lot to offer you. You may be extremely successful with the energy of the star. They may be feeling a little bit 
lacking of self-esteem because of that. Who knows? Underneath the deck, wow, Ace of Coins. So Leo, you two are going to start dating. That's really lovely energy. The Fool, Aries energy, or this is you, as I felt taking that chance. You're betting on an outsider, Leo. Your strength card. This is you, Leo. It may take a little bit of courage for you to open up to this person. Page of Wands, you're going to be messaging backwards and forwards. This is really nice energy. Really nice energy, guys. Okay, so shifting these over a little bit, I want you to see all of the cards. These are quite big cards, but the images are just so gorgeous. All right, that's a little bit better. All right, Leo, we're jumping in. So Archangel Michael, why is Leo sad in the energy of the moon and the king of cups? Page of cups. So Leo, this is somebody who's going to show their interest. It's a little bit of a shy energy. You're just going to be getting to know someone, but the chemistry is going to be there. That spark is going to be there. Yeah. Wow. Ace of Wands. So this person, Leo, may not be your usual type, but you're definitely going to feel that chemistry. You're definitely going to feel that chemistry. Nine of Wands. Leo, are you feeling a bit nervous? Are you feeling, oh my goodness, well, this is very different for me. This situation is different. This person is not my usual type. I'm not sure about this. What is their energy? Goodness, Leo, King of Cups, Knight of Cups. This is someone moving very swiftly towards you. <laughs> chariot. Strong Cancerian with the moon and the chariot card and the king of cups. Could simply be a Cancerian masculine. Or this is someone who may want to travel to see you if you two live at a distance. So you guys could meet at an event elsewhere. And then this person may suggest that you guys meet up. Maybe this is somebody who's going to text you, ring you, Leo, it's great to meet you at that particular event on that day. If you remember me, I'd love to see you. I'm going to be in your area. Uh, they're actually going to make an effort to travel to your area. So if they make an excuse and say, yes, I, I need to spend some time in your area, you may think, well, that's a bit unusual. What would they want to do in my area? Just know that they're a bit shy because they don't know if you're going to say yes. <laughs> Okay, so what happened in the past for my lovely Leos, the Hierophant. Now, either you got wrapped up with a Taurus and it didn't work for some reason, or you might have been pulled into a third party by someone who was married. Hierophant, right? The world, yeah. You closed out a cycle of dealing with people who simply didn't have a lot to offer you. You closed out that cycle, Leo. Yeah, you stood up for yourself, Queen of Wands. You stood up for yourself. You were sort of fed up with being treated as the other woman. Yeah, you decided to detach from a situation. Four of Swords and you healed. It wasn't easy, Leo. Whatever you went through in the past, it might have dented your self-esteem for a period of time. But you detached. You then moved into the Wheel of Fortune. The Divine pushed you into a brand new cycle. Hmm. Ten of Wands. Leo, it could be that with the Ten of Wands, you decided to put everything into your work, into your career. You could have worked seven days a week building a business. You could have decided to go for a bonus, a pay rise, a promotion. I think you put everything into your work because you were fed up and feeling really disenchanted about love. And the divine wanted you to go through this, to, to really work hard, to work on yourself, your own foundation, your independence. And you managed it. I think you did very well, Leo. I think you did well. 
Wow, 10 of coins. Now we've got what looks like a single female there counting her money. So Leo, it may be that you were extremely successful if you got your head down and you decided to channel everything into your work. But I think you did it to get over some disappointment from the past. That's what I feel, yeah. Eight of Cups, you kept thinking about someone walking away from you or the fact that you had to walk away from a situation because someone else was in a commitment. It was very disappointing for you, but I think you kept yourself busy with work. You didn't want to have a lot of free time to sit and mull over what happened in the past. So you just got your head down and you concentrated on your career. Nice energy. I think this is also when you realise, Leo, how much you could achieve by yourself. And I think you were quite proud of yourself because what you're thinking about now, Leo, is you're in the Six of Wands. If this is you, you're doing extremely well and you're coming through in star energy. So this is gorgeous. You're in a beautifully serene, calm energy. It's as if nothing can phase you, Leo. Eight of Wands. You're going to be receiving messages from this person. What's on Leo's mind? Eight of Coins. Leo, I feel as if success in work has given you the confidence that you may not have had before. And because of that, you felt a pretty high self-esteem, not ego, Leo, not ego, but your self-esteem is pretty good. What's on Leo's mind? Two of Wands, why not? Why not? I've moved to Karma Waters. I don't know if it's going to work out with this person, but I'm not seeing anyone else. Work is good. I'm feeling pretty chilled. I think I should give it a shot. Yeah. Oh, page of coins. So Leo, this is somebody who wants to date you. This is somebody who is keen to take you out, get to know you. But look at you, this is so beautiful. Head to head, lioness energy. You're very strong right now, Leo. Very strong. It's as if, well, if it doesn't work out, I'm independent, I'm successful, so I don't really care. It's the right attitude, Leo, because it's not as if you're desperate to meet someone because you want to be codependent. And so you're thinking, well, if it works out, wonderful. If it doesn't work out, never mind. It's fine. I'll move on to the next, right? I'll meet somebody else. It's a really good mindset to be in. So guys, let's get some timing. Archangel Michael, when do we have the star and the three of cups for my lovely Leos? Thank you, Michael. Soon. Okay, I'm seeing the 23rd of October. Mm. To the 1st of November. At this point, Leo, you're sitting in this lovely star energy, extremely balanced. You've balanced the masculine and feminine energy within yourself. I think you're pretty confident, quietly confident, because work is going well. And this is you thinking about going to an event. Now, if this isn't an actual event, you could decide to go out. You could go out with a friend of yours and have a drink out somewhere. But it's going to be somewhere where people are dressed up a little bit, wine is flowing, that sort of thing. Hmm. Let's delve Leo into your person's energy. They're sitting in the Three of Cups. They could be feeling quite social right now. Magician. Could be a Virgo, Scorpio or a Gemini. This is someone who is manifesting a decent social life. This is someone getting to know new people. What are they thinking about? Six of Coins. They are wanting an equal give and take relationship. Five of Wands. They may meet you, Leo, and be unsure as to whether or not this is the right relationship for them. Again, there's going to be a big difference 
between the two of you, but there's going to be a very strong pull between the two of you, like a magnetic attraction. Yeah. It's going to be undeniable. Justice. They're beautifully balanced. Could be a Libra. This is someone who's ready for a commitment. They're nice and balanced out. Their life is going well. What's this person thinking about? I'm just getting an underlying sense of insecurity, though. I don't know why I'm getting it with a five of coins. Oh, five of cups. Mm, they may not have had a lot of luck in relationships for whatever reason. I don't think they've met the right person until you, Leo. You're now coming into this person's life. Ten of Cups. They are wanting a relationship. This is going to be somehow an unusual connection. Because remember, Leo, you're betting on an outsider. This is not your usual type. But the spark is going to be there. They're a little bit reticent, a little bit reserved. Although they do see your aura, your fire, your confidence. And this is them sort of sizing you up. Leo, in the nicest sense, they may feel as if they haven't got a hope with you because you're sitting in such a lovely energy. How is this person feeling about Leo at this point? High Priestess. They could feel that you're quite mysterious, Leo. You could be a light worker. They may feel that there's a lot underneath the surface that they want to get to know. They're going to find you intriguing. What's on their mind? <laughs> Two of coins. They're undecided as to whether or not you're actually that interested. You may be playing it a bit cool, Leo. You may be relatively quiet, although that's not the usual Leo personality. I feel you're going to be relatively quiet when you meet this person because you're going to be silently sort of sizing them up. Who is this person? They're not usually the sort of person I normally date. Oh, but there's this chemistry, right? You may be the very glamorous person sitting in the corner of the room looking at them and they're looking at you as if to say, oh, who is that person? There's something about them. Yeah. Yeah. What's on Leo's mind? Seven of Wands. Yes, Leo. You're a little bit guarded. You're not going to tell this person your whole life story in two minutes flat, right? When you've just met them. You're just a little bit reserved. But it's because I think of what you've been through and because when you meet this person, you're not quite sure that they are for you. But there is going to be this incredible attraction. What's on Leo's mind? See what you're thinking about, guys. Seven of Cups. What you're thinking about is, well, this person's an option. I don't really know them. I could get to know them. You're a little bit emotionally confused. So, Leo, if you go for blondes, this person will be very dark. If you go for dark, right, this person is going to be really blonde. You could be taller than this person, Leo. They could be of a different age, different culture. But there's going to be sort of a silent understanding that you two are going to be spending some time together. You're just going to feel it. What else is on Leo's mind? King of Coins. Could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. Leo, I think the first thing you're going to want to figure out is, are they definitely single? I'm pretty sure they are. So Leo, you may be getting to know this person a little bit better. Queen of Swords, yeah. You're a little bit pulled back, but you're curious about this person. You're going to be finding out more. You're going to be asking this person a few questions. Leo, I have to admit, if you maybe had 
a couple of drinks, you may have the confidence to say to this person, because you two are going to start chatting, um, are you here with your partner? Hoping that the answer is going to be no, I don't have a partner. You're going to be finding a way to ask that really important question pretty early on. It's as if, well, I don't want to waste my time if they're with somebody else, right? Yeah. What's on Leo's mind, Michael? Seven of coins. The reason why you're keen to find out for sure, Leo, is that I think you've had a few bad experiences in the past because this is you looking at the past and wanting clarity as to the situation this person is in. Are they definitely on their own, right? What's Leo going to find out? The hermit could be a Virgo. Yeah, this is someone who is on their own. They may have ended a relationship previously. They may have learned a few lessons. Is this person definitely on their own, Michael? Yeah, Ten of Swords. Wow, they've been through a betrayal of some kind. They could have caught their partner cheating, okay? But they're definitely on their own. What is the energy between these two? Temperance. This is going to be a gradual getting to know each other. No rushing, no pressure. You're sitting in a firmly independent energy, Leo. It's sort of take it or leave it, but you're interested. I think this person is fascinated by you because you're not saying a great deal, but you're asking them a lot of questions, <laughs> as you would do. So Leo, in the future, we've got the four of coins. You are silently hanging on to the hope that this is actually going to go somewhere. So this is you spending time with this person. So it seems to me, Leo, as if you guys are going to start dating. Yeah. Queen of Cups, you're going to surprisingly realise that you're going to be developing feelings for this person quite quickly. Hmm. King of Wands, you know at this point that you are very attracted to them and they are keen on you. So Leo, if you're not meeting an earth sign, then this could very well be a fire sign. How is this person feeling about Leo? This could be in a few weeks after you've met. This could be a few weeks after you've met. Oh, Leo, two of cups. They are fully on board. They think you're pretty special. Mm. This is someone who is really enjoying getting to know you. What is on their mind? Queen of Coins, that you could be their future partner. Is this person nervous about anything with Leo? What is going on in this person's mind? Two of Swords, they're worried that at some point, Leo, you're just going to cut off from them for some reason. Again, it could be a sense of insecurity. Yeah. Um, Leo, for some reason, they're going to be in their head a lot about you. It's as if, God, I can't get this Leo off my mind. But wow, look at this person. I don't know if they're that interested in me. Because remember, Leo, you're keeping your feelings to yourself. You're silently holding on to the hope this is going to work, but you're not sure. This is someone who at this point may be quite demonstrative about their feelings. But they're not getting a lot from you. So they're pulling back and they're moving into their headspace. Now with the Six of Swords, Leo, they could also have just moved to calmer waters, ended a relationship. The Six of Swords can also be travel, movement. They could be thinking, is it going to work out? Because Leo and I live at a bit of a distance. But I don't think either of you actually see that as a massive issue. Because it's difficult enough these days to meet the right person. So both of you are going to put in the effort. Hmm. Judgment. This is someone who's made a decision in their own mind, Leo, that you could be the one. But they're a little bit nervous that you're not being very expressive. This is both of you simply getting to know each other. And it's difficult when you first meet someone because you know nothing about them. 
And even when you date, you may both feel as if you need to spend a lot more time together to really get to know each other's personalities, your past history, your family dynamic, okay? Could be introducing each other to parents, friends, work colleagues, that sort of thing. This person is really wanting to be with you, but they need you to open up a little bit more, Leo, so think about that. How is Leo feeling at this point of time? <laughs> Leo, the sun. I don't know why you're so reserved. This is you thinking, wow, this actually could end up being my person. Maybe that's why you're pulling back a little bit, because the shock is, I didn't expect to fall for this person. They're not the normal type of person I would date. They live at a bit of a distance, but wow, I can imagine a life with them. It's you feeling a bit surprised. Yeah. Ace of Cups. Both of you are realising that you're falling for each other at this point of time. How is this person feeling about Leo? Nine of Cups. Leo, this is someone who can't get enough of you. This is somebody who is sort of waiting for every message, every phone call. They can't wait to see you. Wow, guys, you are really at this point of time falling for each other. It's a lovely energy. Is this going to develop between Leo and this person? Four of Wands. Yes, Leo, it could get serious. It could get serious. This is you two talking about the future, talking about taking things to the next level, right? Yeah, and I feel, Leo, you're going to be realising that this could be the one for you. Yeah, Hangman, Leo, you're looking at things from a different perspective. Yes, they're not your usual type, but oh my goodness, the chemistry is there. This is someone who is single, independent. They may come across initially as a little bit insecure, but I think that energy is just going to dissipate when you two spend more time together. I think you are initially going to be a bit guarded because of what you've been through in the past, but you're gradually going to open up to each other and you're both going to realise quite quickly that this could get serious. So Leo, this is a beautiful reading. This is a beautiful reading. So guys, from here, I think let's move straight into messages. Here we go, guys. Stacey DeMarco. Archangel Michael, what is the advice from the divine for my lovely Leos? Thank you. Go the distance. Leo, what they're saying is, go for it. Yes, there may be distance involved, but it's worth it. This is someone rushing to the finish line, right? Go the distance. Mm. Come to the edge. Now, this reminds me of the full card. They're asking you to take that leap of faith. Leo, you may feel in a strange way that this person is sort of put on your path. Higher power. Yes, look at that. This is beautiful. If you look really closely, that's an angel. And the number four is the number of the archangels. This person has been placed in your life or will be put on your path because the angels want you to know that you're ready to move forward into a commitment. And this person is too. This person is too. This is divinely guided. This is going to be an equal give and take relationship, to be fair. Yes, the fates. Leo, this is going to be a fated meeting. The divine has organised this for you. Loyal heart. And I feel, Leo, that both of you are going to realise that this could go all the way. This person is going to be loyal to you. No messing around. Underneath the deck, breathe. Okay, Leo, just breathe. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. 
<laughs> it's going to be fine. Yes, underneath that, peace. Peace. Go to the sea. Connect with your emotions. It's okay. Open up. So, Leo, I'm going to leave the reading there. A really beautiful reading underneath that change in the wind yeah this is going to bring change into your life this person is a soulmate and you guys are going to meet possibly around about october november time get to know them there's going to be no rush this person also isn't going to put pressure on you so take it slowly but i think before too long leo you're going to realize that you miss each other and you want to spend more time together. And that is going to develop into a beautiful, serious relationship. <laughs> so guys, I am leaving it there. Take care of you. As always, sending love and light your way. And many blessings. Bye, Leo.